Um, hi guys, uh, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, I want to show you how to use this little um, component called the child actor and uh, a use case I found for it, okay? So it helps you make like a template of um, a list of components. I'll show you what I mean. So uh, what I'm doing here, I'm trying to make uh, something really similar to um, Fortnite Festival, okay? So Fortnite Festival has this one, two, three, four, five lanes, right? And uh, I'm using this this plugin, Media Engine Rhythm Tools, to do that. So by default, Media Engine um, Rhythm Tools, uh, the template that it comes with has two lanes, but you can extend that, okay? So going back to this, this is a rhythm lane. You see um, the spline uh, and this judgment box, okay? So these two and uh, optionally uh, the visual for the rhythm lady okay but the point i'm trying to make is i only have two rhythm lanes here right but i'd also like to add a third and a fourth and a fifth right i could go ahead and just duplicate these one by one right and then just duplicate the box you see yeah i don't want to do this Where's that one yeah right yeah and then just move this and then if i if i need to change um oh shit if i need to change like the scale i can't change the scale here and then go here change the scale it's it's, it's I, I need a template right so the best way to do this is you need to have like template for your rhythm lane so this is how you use you can use child actors to do that so i'm going to delete this and then i'm going to show you my child uh, child template Right, so I have this actor. Uh, it has a spline, which is where the notes will be coming. Uh, it has the rhythm judge bo judgment box, and uh, it has a visual right here. So this will be your template. So this is just uh, it's your basic actor that you're used to. So going back to our template, our game template. So what we're going to do is we're going to add like a child actor. Okay. So from the child actor, we need to choose that class that contains our template note highway. Okay, so I'm just going to do perfect. As you can see, it's already edited to the scene. Right? So here it is. Okay, you can move it around. As you can see, when you move it around, it moves with everything. But the good part is that I can just duplicate this. Right? Uh, let me rename this to land Lima. Perfect. Um, I can just duplicate this very easily, so it makes the work less tedious. Right. So I've got the second lane. Let me just duplicate this to lane three. Right. I got the third lane. Right. So I can add as many lanes as I want, and then go back and forth. And one other advantage is that if I wanted to change maybe the sizes of these um, judgment boxes. I can do it from one place rather than going going one by one. I can just go back to my template and then uh, change, maybe scale this down, right? To maybe 0 0.5. Okay, it's smaller. And if I press save, all of these three will scale all the way down. So that's that's one use case of, uh, of this child actor component that helps to um, remove the, you know, the redundancies when you're duplicating stuff. Well, actually for me, but I guess there's other use cases for it. And then one other thing I want to show you is how to access this uh, child actor, the child actor's components from, from another blueprint. So let's just go to this function right here. That selects the verb split. So let's say I wanted to select a spline, this, this spline right here from this rhythm blueprint. So what you need to do when dealing with child actors, you need to call get child actor. Okay, it's important that you call this function. It'll get the actual instance of the child actor, and then that's where you want to cast to your class, right? Once you you cast to your class, you'll have access to your components. So I can pretty much get the Wait a minute. Okay, I can get the spline, right? So this is what this is the spline. I could get this rhythm judgment box for this instance. So first you do this, you get the child act, and then you cast. 
because if you just do main one or channel director then you cast that this is the wrong way to do it you're, like, you're casting the wrong the wrong instance right so the wrong pointer you need to get the child and then cast so that's basically it that's i think that's the only thing you need to know about using this um, the child actor component it's very useful for things that are repeating like like rhythm lanes okay and um there are a few downsides of of, of using this um, especially if you want to have like unique let's say you want to have like unique um colors okay rhythm link here so the downside of this is that it doesn't allow you to change the uh, uh, any materials any specific um properties of this of this instance from 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 the from the blueprint that you can do it at one time but they they didn't make it so that you can uh, change everything from the editor which is one thing i don't like but it's still useful because if your rhythm links are similar you don't need to change anything graphical like this it's perfect for this use case for example if you look at uh on a festival you see this these links are pretty much the same things okay they they don't have like different colors um anyway that's the downside and uh yeah that's pretty much it so if you want to make something like i'm not going to uh, complete the, this course of making the fortnite festival clone but if you want to make something like this yeah just get rhythm tools okay manage the rhythm tools and then follow along with the tutorial so especially there's this other one i made for the for the beat star i think you know beat star which this is also which is also uh, a no tower you live on game right so yeah this one i think so the first thing i want to so this one i think a lot of you have seen this it's uh it's on android it's on ios so this is the plugin for you to get but anyway i just wanted to show you how to use the child actor component thanks